This is MK Tech. Today I'll be showing you how you can make your own high voltage DC power supply, which you can use to power devices such as a laptop, to charge your mobile phone, or even for your DIY experiments. It's based on the SG3525 PWMIC, which you can see it's a brother of the TL494 PWMIC. It's a switch mode power supply driver I see, which drives on PWM. So at the input you have 12 volts. This is the power supply for the IC. You have this diode, this voltage stabilization capacitors, as well as this noise filtering capacitor, C6. So this is pin 15 is connected to the 12 volt power supply, as well as VC12, pin 12. So ground pin 12 is pin 13, I mean here. Pin 12 is grounded as shown here. So for the frequency is determined by this the capacitance of CT in this case it's nano one nanofarad as well as RT which is 15 kilo ohms this will set a frequency of 32 kilohertz everything else is connected and as shown here the good thing about this I see is that the it can be the PWM can be enabled and disabled by connecting this signal pin 10 to ground as shown here. So meaning that you can turn on and off the power supply as you desire with the button and not just disconnecting it directly from the power supply. The left pin 16 generates 5 volts which is used to disable the this error amplifier. So at the output control pins 11 and 14 are shown here. They are used to drag the, these two for MOSFETs, IRFZ44N MOSFETs, they can handle easily 40 amperes, meaning that this power supply can handle about 400 watts without a problem. This resistor basically across the gate and source is a gate source distance of the system which ensures that the MOSFET remains turned off when not being driven. So on this other side you have the same. So the gate drive resistance is about 10 ohms. So when pin 11 is high, this MOSFET will be turned on and current will flow through this half winding of the transformer to ground ashonium. When this turns off and this output B is high, the, the other MOSFET will conduct and current will flow through the other half winding of the power transformer. Then time which is unique with this IC ensures that the, at no time will these two MOSFETs conduct and so is a it's a push-pull DC to DC converter. Basically, this ensures that the transformer is hand reset every time these two MOSFETs conduct and show, so you can use as maximum duty cycle as you can. So this capacitor basically stabilizes the power supply for the power transformer. So for the power transformer, you can obtain one from all the GX computers or from TV motherboards or any DC to DC power supplies you may have lying around but I it has a decent size for more power. I recommend you look for one with at least the total dimension of 3.5 centimeters by 3 centimeters. So at the output, you have this rectifier made by this high frequency diodes UF4007. So here you have your positive. This output deductor choke limits the initial charging current for this output bulk capacitor. So it can be much high and damage your diodes. So this is the output filtering capacitor, and this is the 14-inch feedback section made by this R11 and R10 as shown here. So this resistor network ensures that the output voltage does not exceed the maximum feedback. So here, when this point gets to about 4.5, 2.5 volts, I mean, the error amplifier will be engaged and to remit the duty cycle or the PWM and so the voltage will not increase any further. You can, instead you can use a trimmer port at, for, for the R11 to obtain an output which can be adjusted for desired output voltage. So that's all guys, please don't forget to like this video, comment below, share and subscribe to my channel for more amazing projects.